What happens when you ask a blockchain developer to sell you a pen? My name is James Buccini, and in this video we're going to develop and deploy a Solidity smart contract for Pen.Sol. This is a smart contract which allows you to write to the blockchain, and also has some interest in DGEN tokenomics. Okay, so let's dive straight into this. We're at remix.ethereum.org. And we've got the file up here. We're using the MIT license, a 0.823 of the Solidity version. Then we've got this comments section. This you can just type in ASCII text generator and you can create this kind of text which um, can display on things like Etherscan. I've edited it here with a little picture of a pen. Then we've got this comment which actually tells you what this contract's gonna do. So this is my sales pitch. Etch your words permanently on the Ethereum blockchain where they will outlive you and create an everlasting record of your thoughts, contemplations, and predictions. This is your chance to leave an eternal mark and express your presence in a digital age while being rewarded with a right to earn token. Oh, come on, who isn't sold on that? Then we're going to import the Open Zeppelin ERC20 library and we're going to create our contract, PEN, which is also an ERC20 token. We're going to have a token here which is distributed when someone uses the pen.sol contract right on the Ethereum blockchain. So we're gonna give the token a 1 million max supply and everyone that uses it is gonna get 1,000 rewards. So one, the first 1,000 users are gonna get 1,000 rewards each. We're gonna create a mapping called paper which um, stores a string which is like a piece of text to each address and also a mapping which is bool or boolean which is just true or false as to if the address has already been rewarded or not. We're going to create an event so that every single piece of text is logged. An Ethereum event is emitted whenever someone calls this contract and um, with the right function, which is down here. Before we get to that, we've got a constructor argument, which just gives the uh, ERC20 token a name and a ticker symbol of pen. So that the token's ticker is pen. And then this public function is callable. So we can send in a text message and that message will be stored in the paper mapping to our address. So whenever someone wants to look up our address, they can put in any address here and they can see the person's last message. It's also omitted so if someone has more than one message, then they all the messages will kind of be stored in, a, in an event log, which can be looked up using third party services. Finally, we're calling an internal function called distribute rewards. Distribute rewards comes down to this line 36. And if the total supply plus the reward is less than the max supply, and we haven't rewarded the user yet, then we reward them, we set the rewarded user to true, and that's this map in here. And then we mint the user 1,000 tokens. So when someone calls right for the first time and they're using this pen contract, they get 1,000 tokens. They can then it's just like any other ERC20 contract. They can use them to send tokens, transfer them, sell on a new swap, and whatnot if there's a Uniswap market, which there won't be for this. Let's go ahead and compile this, and then we're gonna try to point it locally first, so we can have a quick look at it. You can see here, we've got all the different functions that you'd normally get with an ERC20 contract. So we can copy this in here, and we should see we have a balance of zero initially. And then if we write a message, And then we check our balance again. You can see we've got a thousand tokens. There's actually 18 decimals here. With every ERC20 contract, you have a decimal amount. Normally that's 18, there's a couple of outliers, and maybe, maybe stable coins that use six. But we've got eight, uh, sorry, 1,000 tokens in our wallet now because that's been distributed. If we just send, write another message, it means that our address has been updated. So we can read what the last message was. Um, but our balance still remains at 1,000 because we've already claimed. It's only given out one distribution per user. It's probably gameable, um, but for the intents and purposes of this demonstration, it's absolutely fine. Now let's go ahead and deploy this to the Ethereum mainnet. This is where we're going to have to pay a gas fee, so we're going to need a little bit of ETH in our wallets. Gas fees are pretty low right now, so it's not the end of the world. It's going to cost $100 to deploy that contract. Okay, that's gone through now, and we can copy the contract address. We'll put this in the notes here. Then we can go to the plugin section, and we can install this Etherscan verification. The plugin section is down here, and you just have to activate this one. Uh, contract verification Etherscan, that'll give you this little icon. 
we'll need the contract address, which we've just deployed, so we can copy that from here. Put that in here, select the contract as pen, and then verify. Verification request submitted successfully. Um, now, if we go to EtherScan, search this contract address, and you can see it's been deployed here. And you've got the notes here, and then the contract address, so everyone can see what the contracts are doing. Um, it's all immutable and um, fully decentralized, and it's running on this peer to peer network. So, as a developer now, I don't have any real control over this contract any more than any other user does. And that's the beauty of really building things on Ethereum. What we're going to do now is use Etherscan to actually write a message. So, okay, let's mask. I'm going to write a prediction. So, I'm going to use a SHA 256 algorithm. Um, so this is an online tool where you can type in a prediction and it will give you a SHA-256 hash and I'm going to use the SHA-256 hash to store my prediction on chain. So being a crypto influencer, I can make lots of different predictions and then just refer back to the ones that actually work out. So I've made my prediction. I'm going to copy this hash. And then I'm going to go to pen. I'm going to write my message. I'm just going to store this as a string. You could write whatever you want here. You could write hello world or human text if you want it to be readable. I'm just going to store this hash on the chain. I'm going to go ahead and write that. It's going to cost me $17 because it is the future of finance. And gas prices are spiking. That's gone through. And now if we go to read contract and we connect our web free wallet, Uh, let's go to read. What's my address? I can see I've got my hash here, so I can refer back to that if my prediction comes true. What I can also do is take the contract address. So I've got a pen token tracker here. I only got one holder at the moment, my loans themselves. I can add this to my token list, import tokens, custom token, add the contract address. You can see I've got 1,000 pen tokens in my wallet. I'm going to publish this code to my open source Solidity Snippets GitHub repository as well. And there'll be a blog post, which I'm just finishing up. So by the time you watch this video, there'll be a blog post with all the links and further information on how it's coded and how it all works in my blog, which will be linked to in the description. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. And thank you.